what you may press. And uh, we need one egg. No. Uh, one third uh, one cup. One, one third cup of oil. That's right. And we need yeast. And we're going to make it with whole wheat flour. And then what we do with this after um, it's done is we put garlic and oil and vinegar and uh, oregano. And we make a little kind of a toasted bread with it to have with our pasta. It's very delicious. Keep tuned. So we're just going to break the egg. We made a well in the center, and uh, okay, so we put the oil in, and now we're putting the yeast into it, and then we'll Did you put a cup of water in there? I put a cup of water in there. And we put a cup of water in the yeast, and we put one more cup, and now we should be good. We'll just mix it all up here. It's a gorgeous day in the valley today. Got about four feet of snow. The sun is shining. Hosmer mouth. Okay, so now we're going to add another half cup because. Obviously, we need more liquid in the mixture. So that's just <clears throat> what you do is you just keep adding until you have the right consistency. And this an excuse to come up, eh? mm -hmm. So now we're just going to roll it a little bit. And then what we'll do is we'll cover it and let it raise a little bit again. This one doesn't have to raise too much. Okay. So now the dough is ready for the vraise. Nice and raised. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to just knead it a little bit and shape it up. No need. Oh, not need it. Just a shape. So here we go. Now we're shaping them up into circles. And then we're going to, they're fairly large, and then we're going to, um, when they're ready, cut them in half <clears throat> and put all the fixings on them. Then there is a by the time you finish with that, mm -hmm. then you the loose. So there's the vraise. We let them raise. Now we're going to put them in the oven for about 20 minutes. Okay, so the vraise are ready. And here they are here. We cut them on in half, getting ready to bake them. 
And again, this is uh, made with whole wheat flour. So here they are. They're nice and hard. And now what we're going to do is we're going to um, just let them sit for a while till they cool off. And then we're going to put some garlic on and some little bit of oil and vinegar and some Italian seasoning and then serve it with our pasta. So now we're getting ready to make the vrezza and uh, Nana is just uh, cutting up some garlic and uh, she's going to rub the garlic on the vrezza and then we're going to add some more stuff So we've got some Italian seasoning also that we're going to add to it. So we've got the oil, Italian seasoning, and we've got uh, some wine vinegar and some olive oil. So here's the vrezza. Now we're just going to rub the garlic into it. So we've got one clove um, garlic. Now we're on to another one. So one and a half or two cloves. However, you know, you strong you like to have it. Okay. We'll sprinkle a little bit of olive oil. And we'll put some Italian seasoning, which is your oregano and your parsley, and and now we're going to just sprinkle some. Wine vinegar on it. And then we'll let it soak for just a, a little while till we're ready for dinner. And we'll serve it with our pasta. È pronta? È pronta per mangiare. Yeah, pronta per mangiare. Ciao a tutti. Ciao. Te vediamo. Saluta. Buona salute.